The U.S. Air Force is making progress toward fully certifying its F-35 to be 61-12 test asset from an operationally representative F-35A. The service has said in the past that the F-35A could start carrying the bombs operationally before the end of next year. The full weapon system demonstration, the first of its kind for the Joint Strike Fighter in the nuclear strike configuration, involved two Air Force F-35A conventional takeoff and landing variants each dropping a single unarmed B-61-12 joint test assemblies over the Tonopah Test Range in Nevada. This range is part of the wider Nevada Test and Training Range and has a rich history of nuclear weapons testing, as well as other sensitive research and development and test and evaluation efforts. Billed as a graduation test, the latest effort was led by the 422nd and 59th Test and Evaluation Squadron stationed at Nellis Air Force Base, Nevada. Photos released by the Air Force indicate that the weapons launch trial took place on September 21st this year. The B-61 series weapons are tactical gravity nuclear weapons that can be used on dual-capable aircraft like the F-15E and F-16C and D, explained Lt. Col. Daniel Jackson, Division Chief, Headquarters Air Combat Command Strategic Deterrence and Nuclear Integration. Having a fifth-generation dual-capable aircraft fighter aircraft with this capability brings an entirely new strategic-level capability that strengthens our nation's nuclear deterrence mission. Development of the B-61-12 has been ongoing since at least 2011, and the new bomb is technically a refurbishment and consolidation of four existing variants, the B-61-3, 4, 7 and 10. The B-61-12 is characterized by a new tail assembly that features an inertial navigation system INS, precision guidance package for much enhanced accuracy. According to a statement from the F-35 Joint Program Office, the latest tests involved high-fidelity, non-nuclear Mach B-61-12S, and each weapon was dropped at a different altitude and speed. The actual launch parameters of the tests were not revealed, but we do know that, in the past, at least one F-35A has dropped a test B-61-12 at supersonic speed. With this latest milestone event, the Air Force has now completed the flight test portion of the nuclear design certification process for the latest B-61 series weapon, which involved 10 test drops in total. Now that nuclear design certification has been wound up, the program moves into the nuclear operational certification phase, essentially clearing the aircraft and weapon for frontline service. In the meantime, data gathered during the latest test at Tonopah will be assessed by the Department of Defense and Department of Energy to ensure the B-61-12 and the F-35A meet all performance requirements.